All right, great question comes from our members where they're wondering how many calories should you eat? Now I'm gonna flat out tell you that there is no exact number that you're ever gonna be able to find to say this is the exact amount of calories that you should be consuming. And in fact, I'm gonna tell you that most people aren't eating enough calories than they could be burning if they're coming to Fit Club. And some people need to eat more than most other people due to a couple different factors. And I'm also gonna teach you about a rating scale where you should never be stuffed, you should never be starved. And I'm also gonna tell you when to adjust, what days, and how you're gonna be able to determine that. So when it comes to eating enough calories, guys, we gotta understand that calories in, calories out isn't always the solution. Now, I just upgraded my watch, and it's actually way more accurate than my last watch, but ultimately, if I were to try and eat the calories that I'm burning, it's gonna be a very tough go, okay? So this watch could tell me that I'm burning maybe 3,000 calories a day on a high day. Now, the thing we have to understand about that is that the watch is basing it around your heart rate. It's not determining what is your resting heart rate. So good athletes have a low resting heart rate. My resting heart rate on most days is around 44 beats per minute. So if I'm not working out, then guess what? My heart rate is low and my body's thinking, well, hey, he's burning less calories and it's gonna give me a lower number. But then you gotta factor in that I've got about 40 to 42% muscle and muscle requires 30 calories per pound of muscle versus one pound of fat, which only requires three calories. So if you're comparing my resting heart rate to somebody that's maybe you know, 50 pounds heavier than me, doesn't work out, doesn't have the muscle, they're mostly fat, well, their watch is gonna read that they're burning four or 5,000 calories a day why? Because their heart rate is constantly going because they're not in good shape. And so their heart rate is working harder than it should be. And the watch is saying these people are burning more calories. And if we went in with the calorie in, calorie out, well, now you're taking a sedentary individual that could be 50 pounds overweight, that could be 45% body fat. And we're telling them that they got to eat 4,500 calories in order for them to start, you know, to be close to that calorie in, calorie out solution. So that kind of gets kiboshed. Right now, when it comes to determining how much calories you should be eating, you got to take into a factor of the stuff and starve equation. Okay. Now I tell my belly burn clients that you should never feel stuffed and you should never feel starved. So when you are stuffed, we obviously know that we overrate. And so then we have to make an adjustment to those calories. We have to decrease them. Now it doesn't mean that we go from, let's say 2000 calories and we put you down to a thousand calories because at a thousand calories, you could be starving. So it's a playing game, right? And what I would tell you is that you adjust twice a week. So the first adjustment that you're gonna make is you're gonna eat the calories on Monday and Tuesday. Now what I would tell you is that if on Monday, your goal is to eat 1500 calories, and you get to a thousand calories and you're completely stuffed. Now, it could be because you don't have enough muscle, that your day isn't active, and that maybe you didn't get a workout in so that didn't stimulate any hunger for you. So I would just tell you, okay, let's just eat those calories right now. Let's try again tomorrow, but then let's look at your food because you could be eating a lot of foods that are providing a lot of volume right? But not a lot of calories. And we want you to lose weight, but we don't want you to lose a ton of weight right off the bat. So then we would use Tuesday as let's try and get you back up to 1500 calories. If you're stuffed again, then Wednesday is where we're going to make the first adjustment. So the first adjustment is, do we go keep the calories the same? So you're okay. You're a little bit hungry. Or do we decrease the calories because you were stuffed? Or do we increase the calories because you were starved? And then Thursday, Friday, again, our adjustment periods for the next, which is Saturday, where we're going to actually make that next adjustment. And that's going to give you enough time in between so that you can know where that perfect calories is. And once you find that perfect calories, stick with that calorie for another two weeks. Let your body become adapted to it. It could be the perfect amount of calories for you so that you still continue to gain muscle, but you're also dropping the weight and body fat that you don't want. So how do you determine calories? I would love to tell you to just use your watch, go track your food in MyFitnessPal, but we have to factor in how much muscle mass do you have? How active are you? 
you know, what is your general, like, what is your, your metabolism at, right? These are all things. And the easiest way that we can determine that is are you starving, are you okay, or are you stuffed? We're going to set out calories for Monday, Tuesday. We're going to make an adjustment on Wednesday. We're going to eat that food for Thursday, Friday. Then we're going to make that next adjustment on Saturday. And then once we find that perfect sweet spot that you don't ever feel stuffed or starved, we're into that fat burning zone where you're going to start losing weight and start dropping fat while maintaining your muscle mass. So that's how you determine if you're eating enough calories.